Hello everyone, so this is a follow-up video to that little Nori Defends I did for MacBoy Redux's commentary on the uh, animation community. Now even though that video has been up for less than a week as of this recording, I already feel it was a big mistake. Not because I didn't come up with some good points, but because a lot in that video could have been done very differently. So this video will be going over stuff I should have done differently, as well as clearing up some of my points. And no, I'm not deleting the original video. I feel that we should learn from our mistakes, and besides that, I'd probably look worse if I deleted it. So I will say that my biggest problem in that video was that I was just too mean. Now that wouldn't be too much of a problem if my main problem with MacBoy's video wasn't that it was too mean-spirited. So basically, I was making a video condemning him for being too mean while I was being too mean. I also focused a bit too heavily on Clay Claymore and Jesus with Bazooka. I originally was just going to say they were trolls, but wanted to show you why. But instead, it went a bit too far. Do I like their videos? No. But if I wanted to talk about them, I should have just ripped off Cute Fuzzy Weasel and done a Feeding the Trolls. Also, MacBoy did in fact tell me in a comment on the original video that those two weren't the only ones he was responding to. But since I never asked for any examples and all I could find were obvious trolls, I didn't think of bringing that up. Again, that was my bad. And also, he did know about O3 Be Good long before he knew about Clay Claymore. So, yeah, I was kind of assuming something, accusing him of assuming things. Again, wrong. And ending that video with the whole trolls or cyberbullies thing was just a huge mistake. That's an argument that really had no use in that particular video. Now, do I like MacBoy's original video? No. I still really just don't like it, but I think my problems come more from the word choices he used. And really, I should have known that he wasn't really saying that every fan of regular show and MLP and other shows were butthurt fanboys, who couldn't handle other people's opinions. So yes, there were quite a few problems in my video, I did not have to get that angry over it. Really, my problems can be summed up in the examples he used. I think his views on both Enter and his fans, at best, greatly exaggerated, at worst, well, just wrong. And I'm not saying he has to like Enter's reviews, and I'm not saying there aren't fans that will just take him at his word. But he used statements based on little evidence, or said stuff that Enter himself disproved in his own videos. The way he describes Enter seems more like the Enter from late 2013 to mid-2014. In fact, in some of Enter's recent videos, he even says that he's been a bit too harsh. As for his fans, again, I'm not saying there aren't fans that will take him at his word, but I've rarely seen any. As for O3 Be Good, he wasn't technically wrong, but I think he went in the wrong direction. Most of the videos I've seen, yeah, he's acting like an idiot, but I don't see him mention animation that often. I've seen him talking about movies more, so really his problem isn't due to his love of animation, but more on the fact that he just says really stupid shit. Then there's the fanboys, and I think this was my biggest mistake. I think the main point of his video was that the problematic part of the community are the vocal minority. My problem was that he didn't really expand on that enough. And really, that vocal minority is a problem in every fandom on the planet. I've seen posts about people who stop being friends with people because they didn't like Harry Potter. I've seen gamers threaten to kill and rape people. There was a fucking hashtag movement that said Directioners wanted someone dead. And countless. Countless numbers of fans bitching when the show doesn't line up with what they think should have happened. And that brings me to a point I didn't make in the video. Why does everything have to be a fandom or a community? Can't people just like something without being put in a group? And it's really confusing. Would I be part of the animation community even though I review both animation but mostly live action stuff? Same with people like Pie Guy Rules. Yeah, he does a lot of animation, but he also does a lot of live action. Technically, would the nostalgia critic be mixed in there? So what I'm trying to get at here is, like what you like. If you want to be part of a group that likes the stuff you do, go ahead. And if you don't, that's fine too. And really, just stop pretending that some fans are the worst because of a few comments you saw. Because every TV show, movie, book, game community has those people. But the majority of those fans don't want those people to be representative of them. And in fact, call them out a lot of times. 
I think that's what Mac Boy was going for in the original video, and while I disagree with him on some of the details, I couldn't agree more with the main message. So again, Mac Boy, I would like to apologize for how harsh I was in the original video. I just didn't agree on some of the details and thought the video could have been constructed a bit better. But then again, so could mine. I hope this makes up for it, and remember you can check out Mac Boy's channel in the description below. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.